There's a lot of misinformation out there about inflation right now, and you can see a lot of reasons why. We saw pandemic-related disruptions to global supply chains. Putin invaded Ukraine, which caused energy prices to rise. The pandemic shutdowns themselves. If prices have risen a lot, but wages haven't kept up, then you've fallen behind. And that was the story for a lot of people through 2021 and 2022. And what we're seeing now in 2023, and I think we're gonna see more of in 2024, is the rate at which prices are rising is falling. But the rate at which wages are rising is actually a little healthier. So wages are currently growing faster than prices. And they're probably gonna to continue to do so for the next couple of years. 2024 is an election year. And there's one side of politics that stands to gain a lot from convincing you that inflation's out of control or that inflation is all Joe Biden's fault. And instead of telling you what's happening to the average level of prices, they'll pick out just the ones that are rising the fastest. That always involves a few, thing being, few things being pretty terrible and a few things being pretty wonderful. So don't fall for it. Take the statistics seriously, take a hard look at them and make sure you're following people you trust. So I'm not saying it's painless, but I am saying a lot of this is transit transition stuff. And hopefully in a couple of years time, you'll be saying, hey, Justin was right, things are okay again.